All right, Bob Perez, where are you from originally? Uh, Houston, Texas, man. Okay, and uh, how old are you right now? I'm 35, be 36 in May. Okay, and how did you first get involved in uh, mixed martial arts? Well, uh, I grew up in boxing gyms. I started boxing with my dad literally at, at five years old. He started taking me to gyms. Uh, I uh, started competing in, in, in amateur boxing, uh, graduated high school uh, from there, uh, just kind of you know, went to college for a while and began studying uh, Muay Thai and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, a buddy of mine, actually a guy I train now, George Paz, actually was getting ready for a fight back then. It was called No, no Holds Barred. He gave me a call, he was fighting at City Streets, hey can you come be a sparring partner for me? Uh, and he kicked my butt. You know, and that's really where I uh, began to understand the importance of, uh, of being complete and understanding ground, understanding wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, and that really opened my eyes and I, I fell in love with it and uh, that was it. Let's go back uh, a little bit to your boxing and your amateur boxing. So you were part of the, the, there's a pretty large amateur boxing program here in Houston. Yeah, and man. you were with that? Yeah, the last gym I was actually out of, uh, it was called Ramirez Chapa Boxing, RC Boxing. It was a great place. You know, I have a lot of uh, fond memories of, of, uh, of fighting and competing, especially in, in high school. It was a whole lot of fun. You know, but just like a, a lot of things, when, uh, when, you com when you compete so much, you train so much, especially as a kid, you get burned out, you know, really quick. And that's kind of what happened. I kind of lost my my love for it, but coming back to uh, to the to the gym to spar with George really kind of opened my eyes, and I fell in love with it again. And about how long ago was that? Uh, we started back. This was in '99. Okay, so it's about 10, 11 years yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. And tell us about uh, your style, your discipline. What? what well, you, what uh, I'm, the, I'm the head MMA coach here at Four Ounce Fight Club. Um, I definitely know my ground, but I prefer to, to strike, and that's really my expertise. Uh, did Muay Thai for quite some time. Uh, trained under Calvin Carter and briefly under Krupong, who's a, a legend here in Houston. He's a phenomenal instructor. Um, so I try to bring what I've learned. I've made my own really style of striking, very violent, very aggressive. Win or lose, we're going to come out and, uh, and try to rip your head off. And I don't mean that to be you know disrespectful or anything. It's just our philosophy and our mentality here. Like I said, win or lose, somebody's going to bleed. And, uh, and that's how we like to do it. If we go to the ground, we can submit you, but we're going to try to cut you. We're going to try to, you know, to do something impressive, something very, uh, very violent. Well, I'm sure that makes for a pretty entertaining fight, one way or another. <laughs> we try. And have you? Uh, did you fight pro at all? Have you done any? No, of that? no, no, man. Honestly, man, you know, uh, back in the day, we used to do, uh, well, uh, smokers. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. they're, you know, we, you know, I, I fought in several of those. Uh, did a couple of uh, amateur Muay Thai matches. A lot of jujitsu competitions. Uh, I was terrible at it, but uh, it, you know. It was fun, man. You know, the thing with, with me, and, and I, I, I like, I emphasize this to my fighters all the time, is that I know my role. I was a decent competitor, decent fighter, but I'm a great coach, you know? And I think a lot of times uh, fighters will go past their prime or, you know, really shouldn't even be fighting and, and continue to do so thinking it adds credibility when in essence, man, it, it makes you look bad. You know, so, you know, I know my role. I'm a good sparring partner. I can get beat up all day. I'm really able to push my fighters, um, you know, I, I was a sparring partner for Jose Santibanez, who I wound up training later, and I was a much better coach and a sparring partner for him, but basically, man, you know, I'm still here for my fighters so they can beat the hell out of me. But like I said, I know my role. Uh, there might be a Muay Thai match that I'll, I'll be competing in in August, kind of be my last uh, my last thing that I'll do. Um, you know, if the, if the right you know, opportunity for MMA came, came out, I would definitely do it. But man, you know, like I said, I know my role. And I'm going to be 36 years old, you know, there's not a whole lot more that I need to prove. I think that my proving ground is going to be with the uh, fighters that, that I put out. You know, anybody can come in here anytime and try to whip my ass, you know, that's great. But I love my fighters and I really, I know I can't be a world champion, but I know that they can. So that's what I try to do, man, is really try to help these guys, bring the best out of them, and just help them get to the next level. And how did you end up over here at the Four Ounce? This part of town doesn't have a whole lot of MMA in it right now. Well, um, I was actually a, a buddy of mine, Tony Orozco, we, we trained together for many, many years uh, at TNT. Um, said, Bob, I want to open up a gym. Will you come train the people? And uh, sure, I mean, so it was really fun. We had a good gym. I had George Paz, Daniel Pineda, Jose Santibanez, uh, and we were doing really well at Silverback. Jeremy Mahon, who's my partner here at the gym, fought Daniel Pineda in the, uh, in the IFC. And uh, they became friends on MySpace after that. Daniel said, hey, Bob, I'm going to check out this other gym. He came. Uh, they said that they wanted to kind of try me out. We all just kind of fell in love with each other, man. It was just one of those things. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, I left Silverback. Uh, you know, not on the greatest terms, but Tony and I are still buddies. And, you know, uh, that's it, man. I came into business with Jeremy, and I, I love this place. I'll, I'll die for this place. Now, your training style is... Uh 
Yeah, I'm sure you can coach all levels, but this was clearly an advanced class that you just went through. Yeah. You kind of reminded me of some football coaches that I've had in the past. In yeah. other words, you're a little bit of a taskmaster. Someone couldn't really go through this class on a regular basis and not be ready to fight. You really push the guys. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the girls. Absolutely. Well, the girls that I was training, you know, generally I'll do, basically this was a big group private. And I train fighters from all over Houston, all over Texas. They'll come to me um, for, for striking and MMA technique as well as conditioning. I really like to focus on the conditioning. But a lot of the women that I train, like you saw today, they're you know fitness models, figure models, bodybuilders, personal trainers. So they're already in really good shape. And every now and then I'll work them in with the fighters. But the group of guys and the, and the, the one female, Jamie, that you saw, she, she's actually a, an aspiring fighter herself. So with the fighters, man, I mean, that's what you do. You push, you push, you push. So yes, to answer your question, definitely an advanced class. Those were all uh, active fighters that, were, that you were watching. And you've got some pros in here. I know Jesus Rivera had a fight recently. I guess he's got a fight coming up. And yes. And uh, tell us about, you know, what's going on here at the gym in terms of who you have coming up and what you're looking forward to. There's also, I guess, an amateur card coming up and you have no, some involvement in that. Absolutely, man. Uh, here at 4 Ounce, we actually have uh, 28 active fighters. Um, about half being pro, the other half Amis. Um, we fight all the time, all over Texas, sometimes in Louisiana. But uh, Jesus, you're right, just won um, against Jace Petrie at the last Legacy. Jace did an awesome job. He was a hell of a fighter, and it was just, it was, a, it was in my opinion, fight of the night. Uh, Jesus got a title shot uh, for that to fight in the next Legacy coming up in uh, March. He's fighting against uh, Ray Trujillo out of Metro, and it's funny because Ray's actually my cousin. You know, so. So it's going to be cool, but we understand it's business, you know. Um, so hopefully, you know, Jesus will get that, that title. Um, we have Lone Star Beatdown coming up January 30th. Uh, we have uh, Charlie Whitbeck fighting in that. Uh, we also uh, have uh, Kevin Thomas fighting in that. Uh, I'm going to be helping Jason Frank get ready for this fight as well. Uh, he's gaining uh, national and international coverage for this. And of course, as you guys know, he was a he was a, the Power Ranger, you know, and, and he's he's actually a hell of a fighter, man. So he's going to do a really good job. I'm looking forward to to working with him. February 20th, Lone Star's going out to Dallas. Got uh, Joe Jimenez fighting out there. Then we got Legacy. We're going to have two guys in Legacy. Got a guy going to Ecuador. Ra Raul Jimenez, uh, Daniel Pineda's got some stuff coming up. We're uh, going to re-sign with uh, hopefully Bellator again, uh, looking into Shine. So yeah, just a lot of things. But with as many fighters as, as we have, what our primary goal at Four Ounce is, we've already come to the realization, or we've come to the, to the grasp or grips that we're, we're terrible at making money. We're bad businessmen. You know, um, we are open to the public. We know we do have you know beginner classes, but uh, hopefully in the very near future we're going to be fighters only. Um, we're going to have 30 to 35 active fighters at this gym. I'm currently getting guys from other gyms that are kind of you know coming here, and it is going to be uh, the truest you know sense of the word you know fight club. Um, it will be close to the public. Uh, we will have uh, you know tryouts actually to come in if we got a spot. You know, we'd love to have you. We love, we love MMA here at Four Ounce. We love the Texas scene, and you know, we're friends with pretty much all the gyms here. And uh, we'll never try to take anybody away from another gym, but you know, we'll help them anytime we, anytime we can. Well, it certainly seems like things are on the upswing here in 2010. Looks like it could be a pretty good year for you guys. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Well, I mean, you know, just uh, check me out at MMACity.com. I do some uh, some uh, instruction there, technique of the week. Uh, I also write my uh, UFC predictions. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun, man. So check out their website, MMACity.com. Uh, they've been really good to me. Uh, Adam uh, Adam the Real ESPN. Uh, he's been really good to us in this gym. He's definitely a uh, a big help to a lot of gyms here in the Houston, so I want to thank thank them as well. Um, of course, thank you guys, uh, and, and that's it, man. You know, just keep an eye for four ounce in the uh, in the, the very near future, man. We're going to hit some very big shows. All right, well, thanks a lot for uh, taking the time to talk to us, and best of luck coming up this year. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks.